Hello everyone, this is Zahn, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Dine Out. Uh, as promised, today we are going to try to start our own new restaurant. Uh, we are a little short for the cheapest restaurant that was available, so we're going to go ahead and sell a few items real quick and get the simoleons we need for that. So let's go ahead and we're just going to delete a bunch of stuff. Uh, as our, uh, Freddy, who has been working on his handiness, has got us quite a few things. We have collected a few things. So we have some things worth value that's going to help us uh, buy our restaurant. This whole thing with all the Sims dolls would be amazing. Uh, also the painting easel. These are all things we're going to have to purchase once again. And obviously the TV is going to be worth a lot. I believe the cheapest uh, restaurant to purchase was about almost $26,000. Um, so we are going to need at least $28,000 uh, if we count the lot. And there we are at twenty-six something. And let's just go ahead and sell off some of these chairs. So yes, we're going to be pretty poor, uh, at least as far as home goes. But we'll have this brand new restaurant to account for it, which will be pretty awesome. And let's get right back into the game. Uh, Charlie here, she is our best cook right now. As you can see, it's just level 10 cooking and cooking and gourmet. Uh, the experimental food you cannot cook at home. If you go and you look at cook or gourmet cooking, uh, you can't see any of the experimental foods. However, you do buy a chef station, as if we find that. And that's popping up there. Uh, we should be able to find a chef station. Let's go to objects by function and uh, whatever we want. Appliances. Nope, nope, nope. All right, here's our chef station right here. Uh, so you can put that up against the wall. Uh, you can do the straight one or a curved one, which is pretty cool, and it comes as a whole piece. Uh, you can experiment with food. And I don't know if that experimentation is going to be leveled up over time or how that exactly works. I did try it. Uh, Charlie was only able to cook the very first experimental item, which was uh, the iceberg. I don't remember exactly what the iceberg is. But let's go ahead and go straight into buying a restaurant. As you can see, we have a nice little tab here, which makes it quite easy. You don't have to use the computer or the phone anymore. And we're going to just buy a restaurant. And we click on buy restaurant, which we've already done. And we'll throw that into play. And then we should be buying our restaurant. And that should load up. We are going to get a restaurant. We'll probably put that in Newcrest, as there's not a whole lot we've put in Newcrest just yet. Uh, actually, I actually don't think I've put anything in Newcrest just yet. And the restaurant we do want to get from the gallery, uh, and that's Max's made restaurant, is the Burger Bar. So we're going to go ahead and buy this and purchase that lot as a business. Now, obviously running the business and being at home at the same time is quite complicated in The Sims 4. Unlike Sims 3, you can't really manage the whole world at the same time. Um, but one thing I've been thinking is you can put a household and a restaurant in the same neighborhood, which would make it a lot easier to accomplish. Uh, transfer funds to your business. We're going to transfer all of our funds. So we're not going to have anything at home. So that's pretty cool. It's like separate bank accounts. And let's just put our, all our money in there, and we're going to confirm that transfer. So you bought a restaurant. Now what? Owning a restaurant is hard work. Approximately 59.5% of new restaurants fall fail within the first year. However, with proper management, skilled employees, and a delicious menu, and a little plasma. I guess we're putting that plasma in our experimental foods. Sweat and tears. Your restaurant just might succeed. Uh, so there are lessons on that, so you can go to lessons. But we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Let's go ahead and open the gallery and get Hogan's Burger Bar. And we're going to download that. That was 26 596 was the whole value on that and I'm still going to end up a little short is there a less expensive one I don't believe there was uh, diving pelican oh that's that's small but it's quite expensive so let's see if the community has put together any restaurants uh, it is very early and it's very unlikely that they have done that so, let's just get a little bit more money so that we can we can take care of that. Uh, I believe we do have some items in our inventory, hopefully, that we can sell off. Uh, yes, it's still incomplete. We're aware of that. Let's check out our inventory. 
Oh, as you can see, once you buy a business, we have Cookout Lookout here, currently closed. Um, and you can buy another one. Restaurant settings. So there's settings, there's reviews, there's view last finances. The sales are zero, 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 everything's zero. Um, so you pretty much got your whole budget book right there. And what do we have here? This is, you cannot do this because required objects are missing. Check the lock info panel. And I believe that refers to the host podium and the cooking station. So you can hire people to do the work for you. Uh, meal profits are zero and we can open the business once. Uh, we have all the objects necessary. Uh, and now uh, you saw those in build mode. But let's go ahead and get the money we need. Uh, I'm not sure how much these cost. Plumbing upgrade par is only 30 simoleons. We're off about 400. And these would sell for 150. Let's just sell everything. And in our household inventory, I believe we might have something. Let's check that out. Oh, we do have a camper tent. So we could sell that. And we have a cool mirror here. All right, so that's going to get us all the money we need. Let's jump right back into it. Hopefully we don't need any more money in order to get our menus and stuff up. So back to build mode. And we're going to get our lot. So back to the gallery and we're going to buy Hogan's Burger Bar. And insufficient funds to place lot. Oh, I am short 40 more Samoans. All right, let's skip forward two seconds when I get the extra money. All right, two seconds have passed. We should have the money we need now. And we are going to get fully furnished. Um, that's just so I can see how they've already got this laid out and different things they have in the place. As you can see, we have host station. We have one of them right there. So let's go ahead and identify everything. Uh, waiter station. Uh, we have one of those. So let's find that waiter station. Oh, these are cool pillars we got going on here, and I'm really liking these tables. Uh, I would like to add some booths here instead of tables, but that's okay. Um, is this our waiter station over here? I don't know. Let's go ahead and go to the correct floor. And always waiting waiter station. All right, so that is our waiter station. We have dining spots, and those would just be the chairs. You have to have at least four dining spots, so you don't have to have a huge restaurant. You can just have a little itty-bitty thing going on outside. And as you can see, Hogan's Burger Bar is outside. And I'll show you that right there. Perfect. Uh, so it's kind of a walk-up little thing, and everything's right outside. It's really nice. Uh, I think we should have gone the same style all the way around. But that works. We, we can definitely deal with that and then go from there. Um, is there anything we could do with the sign? Let's find out. Uh, we do have a chef station. And where is that located? That's going to be back in this back room. Not that back room. That's the basement. All right. So here's our kitchen. And here's our chef station. As you can see, it opens up right there. Uh, so they just serve the food right off the top, which is pretty cool. And the curved one had a little rack where you would put the dishes as well and what did we get here we got we got our dishwasher of course that whole station's complete we got our sink we also have a it looks like a hand wash sink uh, which is pretty good uh the hygiene on a hand wash sink unfortunately is only three so hopefully the department of agriculture and food doesn't show up and and get us in trouble we do have a great fridge here that's better than the one we have at home and that looked like a little TV or something. No, those, what is that? Is that a speaker? Let's find out. Wall speaker. All right, so that was just a wall speaker. Uh, we do have a toilet. You do have to have at least one toilet, apparently. Uh, we do have two, and you have to have at least one sink. So apparently they do check everything out before you can even open your restaurant. We do have cool little menu cards here. Handy tablet menu. It's pretty awesome. And obviously, that's already set up as a restaurant, as we're buying it as a restaurant. View venue type and gallery. And you can view progress. So let's, that just shows everything you've bought so far. So let's get right into owning the restaurant. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to start this. Let's see. Disallow new customers. Toggles, toggles whether or not new customers should arrive. Automatically set to allow customers whenever the business is opened. 
so if what does disallow allow new customers all right so we're currently allowing new customers and if we go here we can cook an experimental meal there's the iceberg lettuce um I believe there was an option to throw a menu together. Uh, we can manage employees here in restaurant settings. So let's go to restaurant settings. And here we manage all the aspects of the restaurant. I have not seen this before. So we have price markup of 125%. Uh, 100%. Let's just see. Determines profit per meal. High markups need to be paired with high quality meals or customers will review restaurants poorly on value. Uh, so we will do 125 percent it's a very small amount to start off with but we'll see how it works advertising uh, we can spend money on advertising and that's probably something we should do but we do not have the money at the time uh, we can go with cool outfits or let's just do something a little more friendly and you know i'm liking these here as you can see you can edit those let's just check that out uh, i don't want to go to create a sim right now so we'll check that out another time so we're going to go with that customer dress code. <laughs> so you can actually say what the customers have to wear to come in here. Uh, we could have sleepwear. So that's pretty cool. Uh, no advertisement. Ingredient quality is standard. Affects milk quality and cost. Um, and apparently that's not something we can do. Purchase the ingredient quality options perk to unlock. So there's actually perks they have to do. And is this in here? Sell this business. No, we don't want to do that. And perks might just pop up later, so we'll check that out. But let's go straight to our menu. And as you can see, these are things we can cook right now. Nothing experimental yet, because those are things we're going to have to learn. Uh, but we can add to menu. Oh, those are our regular menus. So can we add anything? Let's check it out. Uh, no, we can't. We can add the very berry cake voodoo doll donut so there are a few things um but everything else it looks like you will have to learn whether it's alien fruit tarts and customized dessert so let's go ahead and go to oh you can segregate them so that's pretty cool uh let's go to is this our main course and as you can see there's just regular quick food meals there and here are all the foods so i guess you can add all the cool different meals and as you can see there's the regular stuff that you already see uh, but there's other stuff as well you have artesian fish tacos and you can have up to 30 different items in your restaurant there's honeycomb garden vegetable cups the, the jungle moss egg so even the things that we haven't tried yet we can add to our menu uh, they have difficulty level as well uh, but everything in our menu currently is difficulty level one so hopefully our customers like it it'll be a quick easy way to start off and uh, we have simple drinks milk orange juice coffee sour punch so i'm liking the drinks you can get uh sp specific coffee drinks there's americano there's coffee latte um so that's pretty cool we have buffalo buffalo wing tea that sounds simply simply delicious i mean it just throw the buffalo sauce in a cup and you just sip that right up there's Amy Delight, Snaggle Fluster, a lot, a lot of different options. And also, obviously, the things that were already in the game, the coffee things you can make from the coffee machine if you had them. So there's all these options. We're going to keep the menu the same for now. And we'll continue on. Um, we do want some employees. Manage employees. Select a symbol low to hire. Uh, so we're current chef will be myself because Charlie simply is the best chef we do need a waiter um, and as you can see it shows fitness so how often they might drop food and there's also looks like coolness as charisma <laughs> influences customer reviews of the service when meals are served and all of my options are simply not good at all Daisy Falk she has the same money and she has the best charisma so we're gonna get her and we hired her and she's a waiter so we're only going to get one for now and see how it goes and we do want to host and again lila Bullard seems to be our best option for the same price as you can see it is neutral employee satisfaction represents how happy your employee is with their job 
So this shows how happy the employees are with their job. Promoting them and being nice to them increases their satisfaction. So you can fire her, you can promote her, or you can demote her if she's already been demoted. Um, so we can level up their their levels through promotions. So that's pretty cool as well. But we're going to start with the basic because we're not making a whole lot of money. Um, it is currently closed. We can open that right there. And I'm not sure how to get the employees here. Let's see if there's a way. Just allow new customers. Uh, manage employee. We can, <laughs> we can hire the Grim Reaper to be a chef, guys. I'm not sure how that would work. I'm not sure what he would be serving. I'm actually kind of worried about what he'd be serving. Here we can serve or uh, look at our business perks. So curious customers, a lot of different things here. Definitely look into that in another episode. Uh, business funds, we have 94 small ones. We can also transfer funds here. So there is a lot to learn in the game. And this pack, I believe, has probably added the most gameplay and uh, items into the game. And for the same amount of money, I it's definitely a great game pack. But let's... Restaurant not functional. Travel functional restaurant. Make sure a host, waiter, and chef have been hired. Also make sure a menu has been set for patrons to enjoy. Okay, can I can I be my own chef? Cook, cook an experimental meal. So apparently I do have to hire a chef. Select below a sim to hire. So I will have to hire a chef. Um, none of them are very good. Let's go ahead and get Myra. And... There, now can we open? Oh, it's automatically open. So let's go ahead and let's go. Let's get started. Uh, she really, Charlie really needs to use the bathroom. So let's create her to the bathroom before we start getting employees. Charlie has hired a new waitress. Daisy Falk will arrive for her first shift as soon as possible. Be sure to track Daisy's skills. So let's just go ahead and use the bathroom and let's look at Daisy's skills. Oh, you cannot do this while a sim is aging up. Who's aging up? No, 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 no. Please don't be Charlie. All right, somebody aged up. And everybody's in uniform. Uh, mixology and cooking skill. So they're different skills. I don't even know if I noticed that. Depending on fitness and charisma. And here we have comedy. So to be a good coast, you have to have good comedy. It's very interesting. All right, so everybody's here. Everybody's ready. And I don't even know if we have to even be here hoping for a first hour. Uh, we've made nothing so far. Uh, we have, ooh, we've got customers lining up already. Can we help her? Can we help her go faster? Requ no, we don't want to request a table in our own restaurant. So, so far, everybody's got three stars. And we cannot use this chef station while our cook is using it. So we're going to have to use it separately or buy a second one. And our hostess or our waitress is, is putting people down. This service is, the service at this place is fantastic. So it's going well. Um, everybody is talking. So I don't know what this girl's doing. Hey, get back to work. Manage Lila. So we can pay for training. Promote to host level two, promote. praise, fire, criticize, check up on. Oh, so we can go. Oh, so we walk around as a manager pretty much. And she's she's not doing well at all. She's not having. Oh, that's right. Her stomach is upset from being food poisoned. Okay, so what's going on here? Things are okay. I can't see. It's my dream career. What? Well, we're going to make it your dream career. Let's pay for. Oh, we standard training, excessive training. So there's training, but we can't do anything with the training. Can we help the customers? Management, yes. Check on table. We can give free drinks, give table free dessert or comp food. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and just welcome the Sims. Oh, okay. And our waitress is coming over, checking up on them. I don't think we've made any Samoans. We did make 25 perk points. Uh, can we welcome her? Or did we welcome the whole table? So apparently there's no other options except for welcome them. Oh, that's because she hasn't sat down yet. All the attention from the owner is making me feel really special. Oh, so we're doing good. Uh, let's prioritize their food. 
Oh, are we already waiting on their food? That's pretty cool. My waitress is nice. She's good. I'm going to make sure your meal is top priority. It'll be out shortly. Alright, let's get four stars. Ooh, people are lining up. Service is kind of slow. Oh no, are we burning something? No, no, we're good. We're good. What are we making here? Alright. So our waitress, let's, we can manage Daisy. Pay for training, obviously. Good job, let's praise her. Oh, what did, let's see how the, oh no, no, oh my gosh, we were just about to praise her and she just made a huge mess. We gotta throw this away, we cannot have a bad place. Uh, we are currently down 62 simoleons because our waitress cannot hold on to the food. And that's not good, we do not want to go out of business. So let's go ahead and criticize her. Manage Daisy, and we're going to have to criticize you. I'm sorry. Oh, no. What are you thinking? I'm so ashamed. I didn't mean to mess up. Please don't put this on my permanent record. Oh, she's so sad. Oh, I feel bad now. I shouldn't have done that. All right, you throw that away. Apparently, you're not very nice to your employees. All right, so we're definitely going to have to praise her. We've got everybody seated, so we're going to go ahead. Oh, what's restaurant here say? Request table? No, no, no. Our rest we're going to manage Lila, and we've got to praise her. We do not have the Smolians to promote these people. We need more. I think we also need a new waiter, or at least a second one. Apparently, the restaurant chef needs more training to cook everything on the menu well to avoid poor quality meals. Choose lower difficulty food and drinks. We've already got low difficulty. Does she not have any cooking skills? Thanks for the feedback. So the host is quite happy. It's not going to go to her head. Alright. So we got everybody seated. Our waitress, what's she have to say? She's just chatting, I guess. Why are you chatting? We need a new cook or a new cooking station. So that we can get food out quicker. So I think one host obviously can seat everybody in a timely manner, which is pretty cool. Uh, we do or should get a second cooking station. I think the one is good for this size restaurant. Uh, and obviously at least one or two more waiters uh, as money comes by. Our, we are making profit now. We've gone from negative 63 simoleons to negative 47 simoleons. And apparently we do have to make uh, one meal at a time. Um, they're coming up pretty quick. At least for the most part. Uh, our one waitress is going well over here. Let's see. I wish this place... What did that say? I wish this place had more friendly service. Are you kidding? I was talking to you so much. Oh, and I can't do anything else with her. Can I talk to her? Management. We do not want to comp the food. Let's check on the table. We're not making enough money to be comping stuff right now. Our... Meal profits is a negative 141 simoleons, and our business funds are negative 47. So apparently, we've started borrowing food. Please don't drop it again. She got it out. I and mean, the way you have to throw that on the table is just amazing. So, I mean, for her not to drop it even once is amazing. I'm stopping by to make sure this restaurant is living up to your expectations so far. And apparently it just got a lot lighter because oh, oh it's because it's dark outside now. So let's go ahead and the smell doesn't look too what too what the smell doesn't definitely doesn't look too good. So I'm not sure if it's possible to take over this thing. Request cooking speed. Oh man. We do not want to make her go too quick, especially the way she's going. Uh, we're making profit. Uh, we're up to 69 simoleons, so that's good. We're finally, finally making money. Uh, even though this place has great prices. Oh, that's true. We do have great prices. Thank you for noticing. I, I try very hard. Uh, we're not getting any more people, though, so we're just going to have the three for now. These people, I'm not very happy about the wait times here. I'm sorry. 
Let's check on the table. And let's get her food out. Come on. Uh, well, we have made some money. Yeah, and apparently people are starting to go home. It is kind of late. Uh, the waitress is cleaning up the food. That's nice. These people have been here quite a long time, so I can understand their frustration. Uh, I wouldn't be very happy if I had to wait this long either. Um, so this, you're too important to wait. I'm sure I'm going to make your foods come out pronto. All the attention from the owner. Okay, so that's good. We're doing something right. And... I want to see if I can take over as a cook, but apparently I can't, as far as I can tell. Uh, so if anybody out there does know how that I can actually do stuff, or Charlie can do stuff on her own, that would be good. Uh, apparently she's going out to the bench just to hang out. Our customer count is up to four. And let's just have that keep going. Let's go ahead and go home. And see how a restaurant does while we're at home, or if it even continues going while we're at home. Uh, owning a whole chain of restaurants would be pretty amazing. Oh, our customers are down to one star. Not very happy here. I'm sorry. Huge chef summary. Uh, cost of ingredients for 279 simoleons. Sales for 348 simoleons. Mill profit 69. Wages owed is 72, so we're still down money. Growth opportunities for service. Try t training your hosts and waiters to level up their skills. Uh, so we're definitely going to need to get some more money to train these people. Try training your chefs to level up their cooking skills. Maybe make sure they're able to properly prepare your menu. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go home and just see if the restaurant closes on its own. Uh, I did click go home, I believe. Yep, she's going home, so where are you at? Okay, she's going home, so where's the restaurant? Is that going to go... Where is, she, where is she going? She's taking the long road home, apparently. Um, but we'll see if the restaurant stays open while we're at home, or if it does close down, and you have to be actively available to help out in the restaurant as a manager obviously you do want to check out the customers make sure they're being happy restaurant ratings can change time change over time if they're left open even when you're not there so the restaurant will continue doing well the question is will our employees stay there i mean they can't stay for 24 hours a day so i'm not sure how that works keeping tables close to the chef station can decrease food wait time so that's a good tip as well. Maybe have a chef station somewhere in the middle and tables all around. As you saw in the fancy restaurant, if you watched the first episode, uh, there were seating on both sides. And we should be at home in just a second. Um, but we'll, we'll save that for episode three. Uh, so episode three, we will look at the option of running the business from home. And we'll also see if it's possible to uh, run stations on our own. Uh, the business is open because as you can see the option to close is still there. So I'm not sure how that's going to work. Um, it's been open for seven hours. So let's just zoom forward and see if it stays open. Uh, we do have 225 perk points. So I'm not sure if we could buy anything for that. Uh, it's been open for seven. It should be turning to eight soon if it's still open. And our Sims are just kind of doing what they want at this time. Let's go ahead and close this. And it just clicked to eight hours. So it's been open for eight hours. And your Sims need to be on the lot to do stuff with the employees. Let's look at shift summary. Uh, we're still down three Samoans. So apparently we're not getting a whole lot of Samoans at night. Sims don't go out and eat at night. Hopefully we're not losing too much. By doing this let's go ahead and close down the store for the day and as you can see the daily stuff does pop up we did make some more simoleons so we made 102 more uh, 102 total simoleons and a profit of 30 simoleons not great for one day but any profit is a good profit we did serve seven customers so we did get a few more one or at least one more when i wasn't there 
and our employees are still neutral. Uh, it's going to take us some time to get more money. So we're going to work on that, try to take over a station on our own, and go from there. Anyways, uh, see you in episode three. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a fabulous day.